Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my lab. Those of you who have been following me a long time have already seen this. This is my very cluttered workbench. So today what we have here is a four camera system. I had a company ask if I'd want to review it. I don't normally take up these type of offers, but why not? So this is it. POE NVR kit, Heimvision, HM541. Email alerts, built-in mic, motion detection, POE, which is power over ethernet, IP66 waterproof, day and night vision, video playback, remote viewing, easy setup. What's in the box? It's an eight channel. Oh, I thought they were sending a four. So it's an eight channel, but they're sending four cameras four 65 foot ethernet cables, a three foot ethernet, 48 volt, two amp power adapter, a mouse, four screws for the hard drive. This does not come with a hard drive. Four screws for the camera kit. It comes with its own little monitor. We're gonna bench test it first, hook everything up, try everything, and then we'll do the install. Looks like it's a SATA cable. So here's our power over ethernet cameras. Audio out. I don't know if there's a speaker in here. It doesn't look like it. HDMI out. Hmm. The neat thing about this, it has its own monitor. Comes with a warning sticker. It comes with several of these. Looks like four to be exact. Here's our four cables. This looks like the power supply. 48 volts, two amps. Standard PC 120 volt power adapter. The mouse. The short ethernet and the 120 volt USA power cord. Cameras. See how these look. It's PoE, so you don't need that. Should just be plug and play. We will see. And there's the rest. I have an old two terabyte. It should be good. We'll format it. Personally, I would probably get a solid state drive. We'll see if it works. It's a number two screw. Number two, Phillips. Huh, well that's the internals. Pretty small. So we're going to use two for now. Because I will probably put an SSD drive in this in the future. That does pivot. Alrighty then, I will use the supplied 110 volt cord. Let's try one camera first and test it with the short one. It's a little slow, but it may be because it's trying to read my hard drive. This is a little crooked. My ADD, kick in on that. Oh, here we go. And there it is. Right, maybe I should plug the network. HDDs are not found. Username admin. Admin and default password's empty. I'm going to see what happens as I plug each one in. It's got waterproof connectors. Yep, picked it up. I could zoom in on it. Wow. Pretty, pretty decent quality, huh? Hey, there's Mini. Not bad. I don't know if you guys noticed. I readjusted the camera there, but you can see it has automatically updated the date and time. There's a cloud. Pretty neat. 
So double click to get out. Let's hook these other two up. Each one comes with its own Allen wrench and mounting screws. Hmm. Oh, there it comes. Just took a little bit. One more. There. I'm not going to go into each section here. I'm just going to go into the main sections that I use to get it all set up and running and to set up just motion instead of recording all the time. System setup, video playback, setup wizard, time zone, year, month, date, that's fine, English, keypad, type 1, next, network is automatically configuring healthy network next hard disk list there is no hard disk maybe it's bad I guess I have to see if I have another one I got a brand new 250 gigabyte kinda of small but it'll work let's shut this down and power off the machine a few moments later let's see how long it takes to boot up That was a little faster that time. Let's see if it does the... If it finds a hard drive. Hard disk has not been formatted. Okay. I guess we'll go into Setup Wizard again. And we'll try that and see. That's good. That's good. Alright. Let's format it. Yes, format. Format succeeded. Done. Cloud ID. I have to look and ask how much cloud you're supposed to actually get. Channel setup. 2056 by 1920. System admin. There's your web support. Uh, time setup we did. Screen setup. HDD setup. All right, so we use one gig already. Here's a chart to calculate how much hard drive you're going to use up if you're full time recording. So default, it's set if the hard drive fills up, it overwrites the oldest files first. That's called cyclic recording or round robin. You'd want that on, but you got to make sure that you know how much hard drive is used, or you're going to start dropping old video files. For motion recording. It says right click on the screen, go to system setup, then go to record setup, and it says very important, you have to click reset. So then I want to do motion. To start motion record setup, left click and hold to select the day and hour you plan for recording. The area select will turn green, and then click apply to save the setting. Left click. So if I want to do everything, There. So now it's motion record for every day, every hour. This NVR does not support alarm recording. In other words, it doesn't have contacts on the main unit. So you can't have a closed contact start a camera recording. I'd rather have motion record, personally, especially with this small hard drive. You click copy to, and then click all the channels you want to copy it to. So let's do apply. Okay. On some of these, oh, there it is. See that little icon up there? That means there's motion. It's motion recording. After you're done setting your motion on, you go into this section. You can edit the area you want to be detected and change the sensitivity. So when you go into the area detection, default it's set for everything to be detected. I'd rather have everything detected here. But if you're on a busy street and you don't want the cars being detected, then you can actually click with your mouse areas that you want to not detect or detect. Personally I want email notification and app alarm. The reason I like the email notification is you already have the alarm sent to you and it's in your email. So even though this unit could be damaged by fire or theft you still have the actual event 
saved in your email. And so here's where you'd set up your email alert. Just type in all your information and click test. So this is how it's going to come to your phone, on an Android anyway. So it's raining out, so that's why I'm getting a bunch of movement. Let's go into the email and see what it looks like. So it snaps a few pictures. So now we're going to go to video playback. I'm going to do today, channel one, just motion, search. Oh, there it is. I, by the hour. Okay. So let's see. Uh, we'll go into hour. Just one trigger. It does give you a few seconds pre-record time for the motion. So if there is motion, you'll get a couple seconds just before the motion. So you'll see something coming into it by the time it handles the processing of the motion. So that is working. And we can zoom in. It's putting a little outline. It doesn't have that, that black outline. Maybe that's so you could see stuff better. That's kind of weird. Let's see if we can get this app up here. Heim Kits. Let's open her up. It's looking for a validation code now. So let me see if I got my validation code because I did it through my email. EC mail activation. And I'm going to type in my password. Confirm. Add a device. A kit. All right, that was pretty painless. And now we are real time. Wow, that's, that's actually pretty impressive. Sound. Yo. Yo, yo. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Test one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. One, two, three. I guess it's just for listening on this one. Go landscape. Now I'll wave. You see me over here in the corner. It's pretty real time. Playback. I have it set up for motion, of course. Let's go back to this motion and see what it does. Not too bad. So the first one is done. I didn't notice before when I had them hooked up. I left this pointing out for now just so I could pay attention to the data flow. The nice thing is too, you can actually look on the camera app as you align them so you can direct them exactly where you want. So that's the first one. Okay, I got my second camera temporarily hooked up just to see how the view is going to be. Now I suggest working from the recorder, the DVR, out to the camera. Because if you leave the slack out by the camera, you can always move the camera. Normally when you put this DVR unit somewhere, you want it somewhere where nobody knows where it is. So it's probably locked in a closet or behind a hidden panel. That usually doesn't have to move. But you may want to move your camera. And if all your slack is inside, it's going to stink. So keep your slack outside rolled up somewhere. That's the third camera hooked up. So that's it. That's all four. I'm going to let it run for a little while again. We'll go back, check, see how it works. It's been running for about two weeks now, and it actually works pretty good. Now we're going to see how the remote software works on the PC. Pretty easy install. Go to this website, download it, install it. When you first start it, you're definitely going to want to switch to the cloud. Sign in with the credentials that you made for the cloud. Pick your device and hit play. And that's about it. The rest is pretty explanatory. And yes, you can play back your recorded events. But the program did crash on me twice. Only during playback, though.
One thing I do suggest is you buy yourself a backup UPS. Since this unit is home run, which means the cameras are powered at the same point as the DVR unit or NVR unit, if the power goes out, your UPS will keep them running. And if you have a UPS also connected to your internet, which keeps your router and your modem running, your NVR is still recording and you could still get email alerts. So now to wrap up this video I have to tell you my impressions on this. I think it's a pretty good security system as far as plug and play goes. Very easy installation, easy software setup for Windows and for smartphones. It's a nice little unit for a small garage or shop. So if you're looking to buy one of these, all the information is in the description below. Extra technical questions, you can contact Heimvision.com. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.